Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey. This is Reg Color. And this is the reading for the collective for the week of January 1st through the 8th. I got a calendar. <laughs> yeah, and I'm feeling like get organized. I, I think that's the message, like get organized. Uh, you know, it's the beginning of the year. I'm pretty organized anyway, I have to say. Um, all right, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. Uh, I offer IET, which is a healing modality. You can read about it below, right? I'll take you to my website. Um, uh, it helps you to shift and change energy. And I offer, um, I'm offering, um, actually, if you have one question, I'm offering readings for $30. The information is below. Otherwise, I have half hour, hour readings. Um, I'm doing these on Christmas Eve ahead of the game because I usually do them the week before and it's like it's so quiet in the apartment it's like do it I have my little um, I made pasta it was delicious <clears throat> and I got my favorite bread so that was that made me happy all right so let's see so yeah get organized I know it's it's you know sometimes I have like these really profound <laughs> mini messages not today. All right. Hope you had a happy or or yeah, had a happy new year. One, two, incredible how that card. You know, I shuffle. This card has been coming up in the first position so regularly. It's kind of incredible. It's kind of incredible. Uh, you know, I think it's really, uh, well, I mean, I know it's really, it's about like a way that you used to think is over and done and it doesn't work anymore. And you're not utilizing it. And it's like, I used to think that way. I don't think that way anymore. I'm open to new ideas. New dawn is rising. Great. And then I have the five. So this, the, the five is um not organized. <laughs> The five, so five is a change in passion. Five, five is change. It's change in passion because it's the, um, you know, I just Windex the thing. I think I need a camera. Maybe just because it's dark out. It's kind of dark out today. I just want to work. Um, but the five is like a, a card of chaos. It's it, Sometimes it's exchange of ideas, but I feel like, you know, at the beginning of the year and people get, you know, they have all these expectations and all these things they want to accomplish. And they're still, you know, kind of working out what happened last year. And, um, you know, big surprise. And then I have the eight of pentacles. So the way out is for work. <laughs> the way out is to get yourself busy, get yourself busy. That's the way out. And I, you know, I find that for myself, like sometimes when I'm all like in my head and this and that and that and this, it's like, well, what can I do? What can I physically do to make me, you know, to calm me down? So, you know, whatever that is, you know, especially because most people, most of my fans and, you know, most people who watch are in the States or in Canada. So it's cold, you're home, paint that wall, reorganize something. You know, it get and that's where spirit comes in because I always feel like this is whistle while you work, and this is the energy of like as you're working, ideas come, but you're being productive at the same time, right? Because you could sit around and think about, you know, something that makes you crazy for an hour, or you can, I don't know, rearrange something, you know, move some furniture, whatever, get rid of stuff, get rid of stuff. Like I don't wear this anymore. I don't use this dish anymore. I haven't read this book in 30 years. Maybe somebody else will want it. All right. Yeah. That's when your intuition comes in. That's when your intuition comes in. She's very loving. The Queen of Cups is really very loving. She's very, very loving. She, she really is kind of this mommy energy. She's really deeply intuitive. She has deep compassion, but she's really very loving. So do something, uh, if you're going to do something in the house, you know, um, do something that, you know, 
like, well, you know, I've been thinking about doing this a long time. Let me clean out that junk drawer and go through the stuff because, you know, then when you open it, you can actually find things or, you know, something that adds up to something. It doesn't have to be this big to do. Yeah. Anticipating, you know, things. And there's a, always a sense of anticipation in that card. It's creative. Um, he has a new vision. He's going toward it, and he's hopeful. He's hopeful. I don't. Maybe it's my vision. I don't know. Oh, look! Beginning of a new journey. Perfect. Perfect. Also, you know, the fool. He doesn't have preconceived notions. He doesn't have preconceived notions. There's a lot going on in that card. You know, it's okay. So, should I give you all the interpretations? It goes on and on. Uh, He's very enthusiastic. He's willing to try new things. He um, is curious, deeply curious. Um, it, 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 he does, it's almost like there's this energy in the card. It's like, because sometimes you could be a fool, right? But there's an energy in the card of, um, well, I'm going to try this. And, you know, because so many times I think that we have this, this energy of like, well, I'll do it if I know what the results are, right? The fool doesn't really care what the results are. He's doing it because he wants to do it. He's doing it because he wants to do it. He doesn't have like this, this all this baggage attached. That he has no baggage. He has like that little bandana. Um and, you know, all this baggage attached of, well, if I do this and I'm going to get that, or this is going to happen or, but it's like, he just does it because he wants to do it because it's new experience it's like that. Yeah. Page of swords, lovely Archangel Michael. And it's also, you know, new ideas, new ideas, new ways of looking at things, new messages, new, um, new outlook this whole you know you're coming out of the chaos and then you get you busy and get yourself you know it's like okay I, I know what the chaos is in my head and I'm going to do something whatever it is then your intuition comes and, you, and your you know your hopes become alive and then the page of swords comes in with like kind of something new something fresh or it could also be like a, a fresh perspective you know, it could be the same thing that you're looking at, but you're looking at it with different eyes. You're looking at it in a different way. You're looking at it from a different um, vantage point in a way, right? El Diablo. Okay. The devil's an interesting card. And the devil is really a false path. I think you're going to be able to see the false path. I think you're going to be able to see the false path. Because your intuition is strong. You've been working. I think you're going to be able to see the false path, to see a way that you act or the way that you feel or an eye. Some, you know, sometimes the, the devil is like... Um, this energy of like an obligation that you feel you have to do. And then, uh, you know, it's almost, you're the one who's putting yourself in bondage. It's like, I have to do this. And um, otherwise, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. Otherwise I, I, um, I won't have enough or otherwise something like that. But I think you're going to be able to see it. And then I have another five, the five of cups, which is like a, a change of mind. A change in emotion. I'm going to get two cups. Sometimes I think I should do four across because it always ends up being that, yeah, you're going to get back in charge of yourself. You become, you get back in charge of yourself. You're going to see, you're going to be able to see or feel. It's like, mm, 
this this whole energy or this whole something the lighting is really weird i don't know i need a light I, you know i they don't last that long they don't last that you buy them and it's like oh it's working great and then it just stops working it just stops working I've, uh, you know I've, I've been through three i think i'm gonna have to get one um you're back in charge oh, then i have the five of cups i didn't show you i have five cups so you know the five is a change in emotion and it's also it's really this this sense of grief in a way and i you know it's kind of been coming up a lot just in the past month or so and i feel like there are a lot of us you know because we went through a lot we went through a lot and things are just not the way they are and they're not going to be the way they are and um there's you know i think there's a percentage of people you know wallowing in how wonderful the past was or something and uh it's like well, maybe there were parts of it that were wonderful, but it doesn't mean that like the reality can't be wonderful again. You know, we're just in a phase, it, you know, collectively. Anyway, the emperor comes in and stabilizes you and, uh, you know, puts you back in your own power. Because, you know, the devil's about giving your power somewhere else. The devil's also about giving your power somewhere else. Do you thinking like, um, oh, well, I really better be nice to this person because... You know they're above me in my job and um like if i if i do everything that they say to do you know it's it's like that it's, it's coming out of a sense of fear anyway you're back in the seat with the emperor and you know you're in a good position and then finally <laughs> finally everything becomes clear but i i feel like the beginning week of the year is sort of like it's it's almost uh, uh, like moving to a new town or starting a new job or going to a new school. It's a little bit like, well, I don't really know where I fit in. I don't really know. I don't really know if I, this is the right place. I don't really know. It's a little bit like that, right? But then it'll become clear. It'll become clear. And it, it's also, it's nourishment. You know, it's nourishment. And I feel like the nourishment comes from um, you're claiming your own power. Okay, I'm going to show you everything. Yeah, I feel like the nourishment. Okay. Okay, good. It worked. I, I moved the computer further back today. Um, I think so the nourishment of the sun, I think that really comes out of being open-minded, using your intuition, claiming your own power, and, you know, doing something physically instead of just sitting in your head it's like do something physically okay so let's put the whole thing together um the end of a way of thinking and a new dawn arising there's a lot of chaotic thought that you're going to be able to work your way out of through um a physical activity whatever that is that could be ironing you know it could be anything i actually like to iron and then um you come back into your own power and you're in a good position and you're open-minded and willing to try something new. You have hope. You're following your intuition. Here comes Michael to, you know, help you to cut out thoughts that are unnecessary. But then the devil shows up again and he's like, oh, you know, you owe me something, you know, come back into the darkness, you know, oh, live in fear. And then, you know, you have this sense of grief, of loss. And then suddenly you realize it's like all isn't lost. I'm going to be able to like utilize what I do have, right? And in a really clear, abundant manner. It's an interesting, it's it's a bit of a, a little bit, it, it's it's like a kiddie roller coaster, let's say like that, okay? Because, you know, the kiddie roller coasters, right? It's like, it's hills. It's not mountains, it's hills. But it's a little bit of that. It's kind of like a readjust, a little bit of a readjust. But it ends in the sun, so, and the fool is here. So, you know, if you're open-minded, who knows what can come to you. All right. Blessings. Um, see you soon. I'm so grateful that it's quiet in the apartment. I can't even tell you. It's like the quietest day I've ever had in the apartment by far. Like the dogs seem to be on vacation and like everybody. All right. Blessings.